Welcome back to our channel where we help you make the most of your Google Analytics data to grow your WordPress site and increase your revenue. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Search Console to Google Analytics and your WordPress site. Google Search Console is a free tool designed to help users analyze and manage your site's appearance in search results. If you'd like even more details about all the amazing things that you can do with Search Console, be sure to check out this post. I'll leave a link in the description. So let's get started. First, you'll need to prove to Google that you're the owner of the site. So to do that, you'll just need to go to the Search Console and sign into your account. Now, if you haven't already created a property, then you're going to go straight to the welcome screen. Now, if you've already set up another property, you'll need to add a new one. So just go up here to the upper left corner, click here, and then click Add Property. Now we're going to use the Domain Property Verification method rather than the URL method. So what you'll want to do is just type in your domain name. Click Continue. Now Google's going to give you a set of instructions of four things to do. Select the record type, the TXT, that's what we're using. And then sign into your domain name provider. In this case, I'm going to be using Bluehost. We're going to copy this text record. And then we're going to go back back to the site, once we paste that into our DNS records in Bluehost, we're going to come back here and verify. So just leave this screen open, and you'll want to go over to your Bluehost account, and once you do, just come down to Domains, and then go to DNS. Now, you may not have Bluehost, uh, but just about every provider is going to be just about the same. So here under this Records Manager, you're going to come down to I'm down to you see the TXT section. Click Add Record. You want to put an at sign in here. And then you're going to put in the text record. And then you're going to click Save. Now we're going to go back to Google Search Console. And we're going to click Verify. And now you'll see the ownership verified. And just click Done. If you need a little help, just visit the Search Console help page. I'll leave a link in the description. And that's it. Now your website is connected to Google Search Console. You can now begin viewing Search Console data. Now let's connect Google Search Console and Google Analytics. All right, to do that, you just need to come down and click the Admin Cog under the Property Column. Scroll all the way down to you see Search Console links. Click the blue Link button. Now click Choose Accounts. Now tick this box next to the property you want to connect to. Click Confirm. Then you'll need to click Next, and then select the web stream, and click Next. And now just review this, make sure that's correct, that's what you, exactly what you want, and click Submit. To view Search Console reports and analytics, you'll need to add the Search Console report to your navigation in your analytics account. All right, to do that, just go to Reports, and then Library. And then on the Search Console card, click Edit Collection. Click Save. Then click Back. Then go to the three dots on the Search Console card and click Publish. Now you'll see that it's published. And you'll see Search Console appear in your navigation. Now, to view Search Console reports in WordPress, you'll want to use the Monster Insights plugin. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and a whole lot more. All right, to see your search terms report, just go to your admin sidebar, go to Insights, then to Reports, and then go to Search Console. And here you're going to see your top 50 Google search terms, term itself, the clicks, your impressions, your click-through rate, and your average position in Google Search. And there you have it. Now you know how to set up your WordPress website with Google Search Console and Google Analytics. You can make sure your site's not only showing up in search results, but looking and functioning great too. Now, we hope you found our video on how to add Google Search Console to WordPress and Analytics helpful for growing your business and boosting your revenue. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description for more details. 
and thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.